Today I'm out making some mods to my biggest money maker. But I gotta mention that I don't make a lot of money. Like, like no, uh, not at all. But of what I do make, almost everything is thanks to my trailer. This thing has just been the best. I uh, paid 1200 bucks for it, got it second hand, and I have just used it for every job imaginable. Hauling, huge loads, just all kinds of things in this trailer. All right, so let me give you like an overview of this beast so you know where it's at before I change it up a little bit and put a few tweaks on it. Uh, first up, like I said, 14 feet, two axles. That's new rubber on there. I actually threw down for some new tires, so new tires. I was getting a flat like every couple weeks. I do have a big old steel fold down tailgate that I almost never use. I use it if I'm rolling like my welding cart onto the trailer or my concrete mixer. Otherwise, I just have this thing on here. That way I can lay things over it. So if I've got like a 20 foot branch or a or an 18 foot piece of wood or something, I can lay it over the, over the end here and the tailgate doesn't get in the way. I also think it gets a little bit better mileage with this guy on here instead of big old tailgate. Anyway, that's gotta change. This thing is just kind of weak and I want one that kind of flips down. Uh, you will see the beauty that is my tail light. Uh, hot glued, fixed up maybe 20 times. I keep breaking these things. And uh, that reminds me, these uh, wood side panels are just like old scrap wood. They don't fill the whole thing. I gotta fix that up. The deck is pretty good. I mean, I know it's full of trash and dirt and everything, but the deck is solid. And I do have some lash down tie points on here that uh, come in handy. Like if you're laying wood flat on the deck, these are good lash points, but I need some better lash points for the sides. Currently, I just lash around the rails. That sucks. And this has been awesome. I have a job box just uh, screwed on here. just kind of like bolted in place. And this thing is sweet. I might make a few tweaks to it, but it is full of like shovels, ropes, strap, portable saw horses, levels. That thing is great. I know it takes like a foot and a half out of the way on my trailer bed, but it's awesome. I can also put a wheelbarrow on top of this. And then the business end here of the trailer is kind of what you'd imagine. I did have to move the screw jack back here just so my tailgate could flop down and I welded this plate in place to hold the screw jack. All right, so mod number one, uh, I've just been using this rail, as I mentioned, to lash to, and it just kind of sucks. Like if you're coming under here, you don't always have room, whatever. So I'm just gonna put some rings on here. Uh, you know, you can get some more elaborate weld on rings, like seven bucks a piece. Uh, these are just some rings I had around. They're steel. I'm going to weld them in place and make some fixed lash points. Alright, so the rings look like this. Beautiful welds. Perfect in every way. So I got one, two, three down the side. I do most of the strapping here and here, but I thought I'd add a little bonus hook up here. All right, just have to do the other side. So I don't know if you've ever seen that movie Twister, but uh, the sky right now is oddly reminiscent of Twister. We got this like, kind of like black thing moving in right overhead. So anyway, I'm going to take a break from this. Uh, these guys just need to be painted. We got the rings, I got them all ground down. They're looking good. So we got six rings, mod number one.
All right, here's the layout for the new super small back gate. Uh, just angle iron, and I still need to grind it, clean it up a little bit before I weld it. And then these guys are little sleeves that are gonna work as the, as the hinges. Uh, you'll see how that works. Basically, this thing is a copy of the big gate, just a lot shorter. And then one additional thing is I'll have some uh, wire mesh on here just so the air can flow through, but it'll keep things in the trailer. All right, that is the micro back gate kind of welded up. You'll see I did some tack welds on the back side just to not overdo it. These are my hinge loopy doos, cross piece in the middle. So before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm gonna take the mini back gate out to the trailer and dry fit it. If it fits, that means I can put the mesh on it and give it a paint. I'm just reminded one more thing, I gotta put some stubs on here so I can lock it in place in the up position. So I just fabricated a couple little tabs here out of some quarter inch stuff, big burly thick stuff. Uh, it's got two holes, one for the pin and then this little dude just for a plug weld just to make sure it's nice and solid. And I think I'm gonna actually locate these with the pin just so I know they are in exactly the right spot. All right, so here's the gate kind of roughed out with the tabs on it. And they just take the pin like that. And one little cool thing about these dudes is that uh, I was kind of liking the way this thing laid flat, but when you flip it down, the tabs go in the slot there and the slot there, so you can still lay this guy flat. All right, I gotta take it back inside and weld on some steel mesh along with steel mesh on the rest of the trailer. Was 424 paid a dollar a can. I think I got five cans of this stuff.
fucking welding will fuck up your lens so bad. Ah, and the GoPro lens destroyed. All right, trailer is coming along and uh, let me show you where we're at. We've got the box off center now to give me a little more space over here. I'm either gonna make a cargo box for that spot to put my straps and ropes and chains and stuff in, or that's just gonna be for my 14 foot uh, lumber. I don't know, figure that out. Anyway, cargo box off center. I got my Zelise clamp going on. I haven't had that on the trailer. Aluminum clamp, awesome, got that set up. And then I've got the extruded metal stuff, whatever that is, with all the gaps all the way around. This guy is a lovely shade of brown. I gotta paint that black. Everything else needs a little bit of updating paint-wise. But overall, I think it's looking a lot better. All right, thanks for tuning in to these trailer mods. You know, uh, no trailer is ever done. It's always a work in progress, but this one's, I think, a little bit improved. I got the box kind of recentered, got the mesh on the sides, got my tie rings on there. I'm gonna light those, work with rope or straps. Got the new stubby tailgate. Love that thing. I got a job in the morning, so I can't fiddle with it forever. Instead, I gotta get that baby back on the road. All right, take it easy.